like they're calling for rain all weekend long. Let's get the slide out. I don't mind it at all though. We do need the rain. Let's go get the camper leveled out. A lot of times I'll just use the airbags to level out, but way too far off this time. I think that looks pretty good. This weekend I brought you to the Chippewa National Forest, a new spot, one that I haven't been to before. We're just gonna be held up in the camper most of the weekend, listening to the sounds of the rain on the roof, I guess. Pretty sure that this spot's used primarily as a deer camp in the fall and probably duck hunters come out here as well. Check out the lake. I don't think we're gonna be doing any fishing. And this right here is why I'm thinking it was a deer camp. I was looking on the map and I did spot another campsite about three miles from here. I might go take the bike and check it out. Depends on if the rain's gonna hold out. They don't have a fire ring here, but people have kind of made their own ring. And of course, it's got some trash, so we'll get that taken care of. I took care of the bug situation when we first rolled in. We're in a low swampy area, so it could have gotten bad. got the cell phone booster up so I can get a little bit of signal so let's check the weather really quick see if that storm is gonna be passing through if not maybe we'll get the bike out let's check it out looks like we got about two hours before that storm kicks off so I'm gonna bring you with and see if we can find a spot for another day It'd be kind of cool if this weather held off the whole weekend. Start a nice little campfire. I got a pretty cool meal plan tonight. It's a Minnesota tradition. It's no tater tot hot dish, but it's the next best thing. Took the front fender off the bike just to take some weight off of it. <laughs> Big mistake, I'm getting just plastered with mud from the wet roads. <laughs> oh my, I probably shouldn't have brought that drone with. These flies are insane. Definitely don't want to slow down. Them horse flies, they'll eat you alive. 
they hurt too. They big welts. We were close to that campsite, but I couldn't even stop for 10 seconds down there. That was insane. My head is just full of little bites everywhere. Oh, glad to be out of there. I almost spilled it a few times. <laughs> that mud is slick. Let's get back to the camper. Those bugs were eating me alive. Crazy. Let's get inside for a little bit. Those deer flies, they ate me alive. And I'll tell you what, the hands and the legs, that's one thing, but is my face starting to swell up a little bit? Insane. You know when you go to the dentist and they give you Novocaine when they're gonna work on your teeth? It's exactly what the whole side of my face feels like. <laughs> Good times. Just looking at this in the mirror, it's like I got a big old lip of grizzly in. I think I'm just gonna get some of this stuff loaded up on the computer and then uh, just ice it, right? That'll work. See in a little bit. Well, the weather channel was wrong. That rain moved right past us and we barely got a sprinkle. It's supposed to be another round coming through though. Good news. Swelling's gone down. Oh, I hear thunder. I think we're gonna head inside the camper, start getting supper made. Maybe we'll be able to eat before dark tonight. I think I gotta charge this guy. I'm ready for supper. I know I said supper one time and one of the viewers said, you mean dinner, right? But what do you guys call it? I asked my mom when I was a little kid, I remember this. I said, what's the difference between dinner and supper? And what my mom told me is she says, Jesus sat down and had supper for his last meal. We're gonna have supper for the last meal of the day. That's where I get supper from. I don't know. Tonight, I'm gonna make one of my all time favorite meals, funeral hot dish. Thunder is cracking outside. We might get a pretty good storm yet. Can you hear it? Oh, it's gonna storm. Onion and green pepper. I'll be putting in one smaller size onion. And then we're also gonna chop up one pepper. Just gonna soften them up. Next up, two pounds of ground beef. Once that hamburger is browned up, we can dump in the onions and peppers. And it's a can of stewed tomatoes. Can of black beans. One can of corn. Tomato soup. And then we add in our noodles. And this is one of my all-time favorite meals. I'm just gonna get this separated, clean up a little bit, take a shower. I think that the hot dish has gotta be one of my favorite comfort foods. What a perfect time to 
thundering outside, rain on the roof. It's a good night. I think the sound of the rain is going to put me right to sleep. I'd do something more interesting like read a book, but Harbor Freight quit printing their catalogs a couple of years ago, so I got nothing to read. See you in the morning. Morning. Let's get the coffee going. Kind of a relaxing Sunday morning. Rain's on the roof. I'm just taking it easy. I've been watching this Grim Life Collections on YouTube. What he does is he takes shots from movies, what they were 20 years ago, and then captures what they look like now. It's really, really cool. I found this guy a little while ago. Um, it was with the Goonies movies, which was one of my favorite movies growing up. So ever since then, I've been watching it. He's doing one on uh, Twilight right now. Sounds like we're gonna get a break in the rain. Time to start packing up. Ran into an issue with the awning this morning. One of the bolts on it just froze up, can't get it loose. When I tried closing the awning, that forced the top bracket up on the roof, wobbled out. Now, we just gotta get home. This is how I'm gonna do it. I've been wanting to get rid of this awning for a long time. I think for the first 18 years of this camper's life, the awning was never used, and uh, it's just been finicky ever since. Let's get to work. That'll do. Let's see if it wants to close now. Bingo. Let me show you where the real damage is at. Yeah, see that? That's not supposed to move. Hopefully I can drive these in deeper and then just put some silicone on there. Well, thankfully they're digging back in quite a ways. That's good. Tells me the wood back there is good anyways. Wow. I thought they were going to be stripped out. Okay. Now I just need to put some sealant on here. Be good to hit the road. Unfortunately, the die core didn't make it back into the camper last time I used it. So I got a little bit of this flex seal tape. This is just gonna be temporary. Get me home just in case if it starts raining. Since I'm up here, might as well clean the slide. You can see, I still haven't coated the roof up here. When that happens, that awning, it's definitely coming off. We 
fixed, I didn't forget those. All in all, not a horrible weekend. My face is looking normal again. Unfortunately, this spot didn't have a whole lot of trails or, you know, the lake wasn't really fishable, but it was still a good relaxing weekend. Thankfully, I'm all done with those review videos, at least for the next couple of weeks, which means I can finally get to cleaning up this truck and camper after work. We made it just in time. The rain is starting. we got this one in the bag i want to thank you you stuck around the whole time what a wild video probably kind of short we'll see you again next tuesday until then be kind be honest we'll see you down the